So, like normal, I'm kind of running behind on getting these videos done, and I'm trying to hold this thing one-handed. I don't have my little camera holder with me, so this might be a little shaky. Uh, anyways, this is going to be the video for the redesign install on the front frame stiffeners. We found out if you had the forward arched raked arms that the jam nut would kind of rub one of the fingers, and I don't really know how bad it would get into it. We just had a guy send us a picture and uh, it was getting into the little finger where it bolted to the frame. So we just did a redesign on it so it would go to the back instead of the front and be completely out of the way. Now, uh, I took a contract, and I'm actually in Indiana at the moment. I took a contract to help a buddy on some stainless pipe. And I know we, I built a bunch of these before I left. I know we sent a, a small handful of people some free stiffeners because they had waited so long on different things. And then we had people order and actually pay for the stiffeners. So if you actually ordered and paid for the stiffeners, send us a message. And we are way behind on messages. We're like over 100, 100 messages behind. So send us a message. Uh, hopefully this week we'll start working through the messages as we can. If you paid for a stiffener, we're gonna get you one ASAP. I don't know how many extra I was actually able to build but if we sent you a free one, just send us a message, say, hey, you sent us a free one, when you get a chance, send us another one. If you have the forward arms, if you don't have the forward arms, they fit fine. But if you have the forward arms and we sent you a free one, just let us know, and if we've got some extras, we'll send you. If not, as soon as this contract's over, uh, or if we take a little time off or something, we'll build some extras and we'll get them sent out. I don't know how long I'll actually be here. I'll post more on that later. Or I'm kind of at a deal where we're not really allowed to have our phone a whole lot. So the only time I can have my phone is kind of late in the afternoons. And I'm not actually on it very much. Uh, we've got a ton of work I got to try to help him get done. And we're just trying to get it knocked out. And I'm so tired when I get off, I could care less about getting on my phone. Uh, but hopefully we'll start working through those messages. So if you paid for one, definitely go ahead and message us so we can get you one sent out. And if you got a free one, just let us know and we'll get you one if we got an extra one. If not, we'll definitely let everybody know once we get back to the shop and actually start pumping out parts again. Uh, we do got a date that we hope we're done here. I'm not gonna really post anything on it because for one, I don't know if we'll actually finish on that date. And for two, like I say, I'm not even really on my phone that much. I get on my phone mainly right in the afternoons, FaceTime the wife and the kids. And other than that, I don't even look at it. Uh, we're not really allowed to have it where we're at for, uh, I guess you would say, I don't know. They call it security reasons, but I don't really know. They're freaked out about people taking pictures of what we're building or something. Uh, anyways, I'll be back at the hotel in a little bit. Hopefully, we'll get this posted. And like I said, if you got a question or something, just send us a message, and hopefully, we'll start working through those messages by the end of this week. So, I'm going to do my best to stay out of this footage as much as possible, so hopefully, you can see exactly what you need to see. This is basically identical to our old design. The only thing we did is we moved that finger or that tab from this side to the back side, just for that added clearance on those arched arms. Uh, so what you'll wanna do is this is basically what you'll have. These little back hooks go to the back. This side goes to the front. You'll, this kinda has to go in at a little bit of an angle, kinda almost at a 45. You'll hook this back side on this little tab that goes down your frame. You'll hook that on that side. You'll pull it forward as much as you can. You'll push this side up and then you'll twist it into place. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's not near as easy as the install as the other kind or the other design was, but it's really not that bad. Uh, it's just a little, it's a little tight right there. You can probably see where the paint's kind of rubbed off the frame a little bit, where I've been building these, taking them on and off so much. Other than that, it's kind of a straightforward install. That's the only downside is it's just a little tight to get on that back corner back there. But we'll take it, get it looped in. Like I say, somewhere, maybe not quite 45, but you'll see where it fits. Just past that, you'll want to take it and you'll just kind of have to bump it up. You'll bump it up into place and then you'll, uh, you'll start to straighten it up. And you might have to come to the opposite side where this welds at sometimes it'll hang up you might have to kind of wiggle that finger on the other side just to get it to loosen up and come on over 
and that's about it. Now you'll bring this all the way to the front. We run a 50 thou shim on this front here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm, I'm hoping the camera's catching everything. So when we build this, I run a 50 thou shim in between the frame and this finger. So you will, once you actually push it up into place, oh, make sure you take your bolt out of your diff. Uh, you don't want to hit that trying to put it up in there. But once you get this up into place and tap it in, you will have a slight gap there. Like I say, it's only about 50 thou and it's not much at all, but once you tighten it up, it'll kind of all tighten together and you won't really be able to tell no difference. That's pretty much it. Uh, the, everything else goes on just like the other video. The only difference is that back tab. Like I say, it's not near as easy as an install as our old design, but this will allow for the extra clearance that we need for those uh, forward arched arms. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. Uh, I've got to hit the road. We got some stuff going on and until next time.